Hi, you don't know me. I'm Stranger Dave. And you may well ask yourself, why would anybody close up a brown paper grocery bag with a clothespin and stick it up on top of their kitchen cabinets? Well, because I have a cat, of course. There's actually a little more to this story. What you're looking at here is a male polyphemus moth in a cage. And on the floor of the cage are several cocoons from Promethea moths that I raised last year. Okay, why do I have a polyphemus male moth? Well, there's an answer. Simple, relatively. One of my wife's friends on Facebook sent her a picture of a huge moth that they had in a butterfly cage. Last summer, a member of her family was cutting the grass, found this big caterpillar, put it into this butterfly cage, and it immediately spun a cocoon. And they thought it was dead. And yesterday, it emerged. And it was a beautiful, big, female polyphemus moth. Okay, so how did I get the male? Well, simple. I put the female in this cage yesterday. And at about 2 o'clock in the morning, there was this guy flying around the outside of the cage like a bat. Now back to the bag that was sitting on top of my kitchen my uh, kitchen cabinets. Um, the reason I put it up there, like I said, I have a cat, and it had a pair of large fluttering moths inside of it. Now you can probably hear the female in there. I'm going to open the bag now. As soon as they, as when I caught the male that was flying around early this morning with a butterfly net very gently and I put him in the cage that contained the female and they did what male and female moths do okay hang on a sec I've got the light all right I'm going to open the bag be very careful okay so maybe you can see in here where is she there she is you see her down at the bottom. And if you see any little spots inside the bag, and I see a few little spots on the bottom of the bag, those are eggs. She's not really making her not really making herself very visible, is she? Let's see if I can get in here a little bit. Sorry about this, we're looking straight on at her. But she has laid a number of eggs. And I'm going to leave her in there to lay eggs. And the reason being is when she's done laying eggs, I can take her out, put her in the cage, and I will release her at night in the dark so she will be safe safer. I mean, it, at least there won't be a lot of birds. And she'll have a much better chance of survival because she's still got a bunch of eggs in her. And I'm hoping that she will lay those eggs around my neighborhood and on, you know, local trees. Uh, and uh, we will have more polyphemus moths in the area. I will also release the male so he can go out and find other females tonight. So, what do I do with the bag? Well, simple. I just take and I cut around where the eggs are. I keep the eggs, give some away. I'm going to give some to the, uh, to the uh, family that had the female in the first place. And uh, we will raise them. And I will show you videos of that. They'll hatch out in about 10 days. 
All right, here it is at night time. And like I said, I'm going to release the moths. Now this is the female in the bag here. I'm trying to get the bag open. You can see her down at the bottom and there may or may not be able to see that there are quite a few eggs in there. Uh, the final count I believe was 106 eggs. So she probably has as many as 200 more eggs still in her abdomen that she will, will hopefully lay. So I got the moth out and I told my son Gilbert, who's 11, that he could hold the moth until she flies. So it took a while because what happens is when these moths are frightened, they fold their wings up and drop to the ground like a dead leaf. And that's kind of a defense mechanism for birds going after them. They just try to look like a dead leaf. Now when those wings are folded up, the underside of the wing is just brown. It doesn't have those you know, bright, uh, pretty eye spots and, and the pink that you can see on the, on the wings. Now, I don't get a real good look at her with this particular video because it is nighttime and it's um, it's using a, a light and it's it's just not really bright enough but it looks kind of washed out but you could probably find you know really good pictures of a polyphemus moth on the internet there were a lot of mosquitoes flying around tonight uh, but you may notice the the moth is starting to vibrate its wings and that's what they do to warm up those muscles to prepare them for flight now this is the female and the females of the giant silk moths typically don't even attempt to fly until they've been mated they'll come out of their cocoon they'll let their wings harden and they will call a male an organ is is uh, extended out from the tip of their abdomen and they give off a pheromone that can travel miles and attract these males. The, uh, the males have these large feathery antenna that can sense these pheromones from many miles away and they will come like our male did. Who knows where he started out but he came at uh, about 2 a.m. So Gilbert is holding it there while it vibrates its wings and eventually it's going to take off. Now, I, I didn't get a, a real good shot of it taking off because they, they flutter very fast. Well, you'll see at the end here um, it will take off. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I am going to have more videos additional videos uh, about raising the polyphemus caterpillars. They're very uh, large, attractive caterpillars. And uh, so anyway, I hope uh, you like the video. Thumbs up. Please subscribe and goodbye.